What's up, everybody? How's it going? So, uh, I'm working on a video game. I know. It's crazy. Crazy news. I know. I said this before, right? Like, um, we kind of, like, moved on from Chroma because we just can't really do that anymore. But me and Wispy, we teamed up to make a game. And it's going to be a very small game. So it's a, it's a very small, tiny, tiny baby game. Um, what I mean with that is it's just very tiny in scope, right? Very small in scope. And what is it? Well, it's it's a puzzle game. Well, it's kind of like a tower defense as well. It's like a puzzle tower. You'll see in a second. I'll explain it in a second. But I just wanted to kind of like show it off. Now, I, I do want to kind of explain what the goals of this game are, are right? So first... This is just going to be a single player game. It's just going to be sold on Steam for 15 bucks and you can just buy it. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Second, uh, we're going to also do uh, a Kickstarter for this thing. That's going to be in July, I think. <laughs> we'll probably do it in July. Um, and we're not looking for that much money there. It's pretty much just going to be food money for Wispy. That's all we need. And a little bit of money to... Um, do some uh, sound effects like food and sound effects that's the that's the only thing we're looking for and uh yeah i guess that about sums it up chat is here to uh, ask questions um but since this is a puzzle game i kind of like i really needed to do this on stream i've been wanting to record this for a while uh, but i need to do this on stream because if i don't do this on stream like it's kind of weird with me like just solving the puzzles for you and kind of want to show it off a little bit um so yeah, let's just kind of get into it. Now, what is the premise of this game? Let's start with that, maybe. So the premise of this game is that we have a child. Not like like the game. There's a child in the game. The, the, the main character is a child. So there we go. <laughs> it's not that we are parents. Although, no, we are, we are not parents. Anyway, so point being, there's a child. She's called Alex um, currently, right? And um, what we are is we are the dream architects. So every night Alex goes to sleep and then we appear. We are in her dream and our job is to make sure to keep the nightmares out and to let the good dreams in. That's the entire thing, right? We are just trying to make sure that she makes it through the night without having any sort of nightmares. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, build some labyrinths for that purpose so let's have a look then right um the way this works uh, is eventually you're going to have a campaign where you can just go in there and then there's world one and you play a bunch of levels there until you're done with it and then there's world two and then you play a bunch of levels there and as you go through the campaign there's going to be kind of a soft storyline so it's not going to be like a big fancy story with a ton of you know, like dialogue and voice acting. No, no, no. It's going to be a story. There will be a story. But it's going to be a lot more tonal. It's going to be more um, about conveying a certain mood and atmosphere. And if you pay close attention, you'll be able to figure out what the story is about and what's going on with it. Um, but even if you don't figure it out, I honestly don't really care. It's more about kind of like the mood and the tone of it. So, yeah. Anyway, but right now we don't have a companion, but we do have levels. Um, so you can see here there's a bunch of levels that are already made for us. Every single one of these levels is solvable. I have uh, tested that and uh, we're going to go ahead and just, just play a little bit, right? Now, uh, I have uh, prepared some easier levels to start out with. This is not it. This is not one of the easier ones. I need to look for them. Yes, currently we cannot rename the levels, so that's something that I uh, <laughs> that we still need to add. Uh, there we go. Very good. So this is a kind of good starting point. So let's start this. Now, the way this works is you can see up in the top right corner, there's a timer, right? It starts at 60. And if I start the level, if I click here, you can see it starts ticking down. You also see that the little monster spawns. That's a nightmare. And this nightmare is making its way to the bed right now. And if the nightmare reaches the top part of the bed where Alex will eventually be sleeping, then we lose. But as long as we manage to make it through the night without the nightmare making it to the bed, and this timer hits zero, then we win. Now, how do you do that? So, for example, right here, we have some walls. So what I could do is I could build a little... A little something like this, right? Just a little, a tiny little maze. Aha, cool. So let's see what happens then. Well, I'm going to click the speed up. 
button. It's a button you're probably going to be using a lot. But you can see now the timer is ticking down and the monster is making it through. Now, very important thing. Very, very important thing here. You are not allowed to block things off completely. Um, this game has been in development for a month. <laughs> Pretty much exactly a month, actually. Uh, and so please forgive us that there's still some things missing. But eventually, in the final version, if you do something like this and the monster can't move, right? Or, oh, that's the wrong button, sorry. Right? Or if I do something like this and the monster can't make it into the bed, then you will just lose the level. Not immediately, there will be a three second kind of penalty timer, like a three second timer that will tick down and then when it reaches zero, then you will lose the level. But this is not allowed. Right now, the game will let you do it, but for our purposes, when this happens, when the monsters stop moving and more than three seconds pass, we will count that as a loss. Okay? Cool. So let me go ahead and build a little bit of a level. Now, this is just an easy one, right? Like this just I'm gonna just go ahead and, and, and build a little bit of a maze. Right? For this first level, it's very simple because we can just, you know, do something like this and we will not have any sort of problem. Right? Like this will easily cover the 60 seconds we need. But it just kind of gives you a bit of an impression of how all of this works, right? Now over on the left side, you can already see a bunch of stuff. So, for example, you can see we have walls, which currently we have infinite of. You will not always have infinite walls. You can also see there's wire, there's switches, and there's stop signs. We will get to those in a second. Anyway, we beat the level. Very good. So, let's go ahead and leave this level. <clears throat> now, um, let me go ahead and show you a bit of a different level. Uh, let me go ahead and see. If, yes, that's the one. Very good. So in this level, you can see we have different resources. We have 18 walls, infinite wire, free switches, and free stop signs. Let me explain to you how these things work. So if I build myself a little bit of a wall here, right? Like you can see I left the thing open up at the top. And then the monster walks, it will walk up to the top and then walk through that gap. Okay, I think we already figured that out. Now I can put a stop sign here. Currently, the stop sign is on red, which means that right now the monster can't walk through it. A stop sign can also be green. So I've put it on green now, and now the monster can walk through it. Nice, simple, right? So stop signs can both be um, green and red, like depending. Um, what we can do with that is we can, for example, place a switch. So what a switch does is it will send a signal after a monster steps on it, and it will send it along a wire. So you can see here, this right here would be a wire. We can, uh, we'll get into that in a second. So the monster steps on the switch, and now this becomes green, as you saw. Right, it was red, now it became green. We can also, of course, put a switch here if we want to, but that will not really help us because the monster will step on it, and then it will become red, and now it can't keep walking. All right. Now, yes, 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 we know that stop signs aren't necessarily the most intuitive thing. Please, again... Um, if some of these assets, we're just kind of like using what we currently have. We're going to create unique assets and all of that stuff. Right. So, but to kind of showcase how this uh, works a bit with the switches and the stop sign. So for uh, with the wire, for example, I can put a stop sign back here, right? And I can connect this. And you will see now when this steps on here, a signal is sent along, which turned the screen. Make sense? Cool. So let me show you how to solve a level like this. With this first one, I will show you uh, what a good way of handling it is. And uh, then going forward, I will ask chat to figure some of this stuff out. Can you just make an infinite flip-flop with that? Uh, no. No, no, you can't. Um, so we have, don't worry, we figured out that there's potential for infinites as well. And um, we took some measures to deal with that. Anyway, so you can see we only have a limited amount of walls. Generally speaking, we don't need to build in the corners like that, so we can save ourselves a little bit of space. And look at us. Cool. We're going to make this one green, all right, so that the monster will walk up there. And then we can go here, and we can connect this wire all the way down here. We can then place a switch here, and we can place a switch here. And then we can connect this wire into this one. What will now happen is the following. The monster will walk up to the top. It will step on this switch. 
which will send a signal to the stop sign, turning it red, but then also one to the stop sign, turning it green. Now the monster will start walking all the way down here. While doing so, it will step on this switch. This switch will then send a signal up here, turning this green. But at this point, the monster is already closer to the bed, so it will continue going into this direction. Stepping on this switch, turning this stop sign red, and then it'll walk all the way back there. And now, finally, on the way to the bed, but not going to be able to make it in time. This day, Alex woke up, no nightmares made it, and we're happy. Cool. Now, a few things that you noticed here immediately. Switches can only be stepped on a single time. And uh, if I were to, for example, do something a little bit like this, um, what will end up happening is that a signal will be sent, but you will create copies of it. All right, actually, I kind of like need to show this again because there's a bunch of people in chat who are like trying to be very smart asses about it. But you can see these signals cancel each other out when they crash into each other. Okay, cool. So chat, let's have a look then. Pick pick a level. Which one would you look? Uh, which one? Which one do you want? I know they are all very um very fancy in their naming. <laughs> all right, ninety eight EBF. All right, let's go with this one then. So this is a, a bit of a weird one. All right, so in this level you can see. We have access to infinite wall. But we don't have any wires, any switches, any stop signs. Instead, we have this big already kind of pre-built labyrinth. And we need to still prevent the enemies from making it to the bed. Now, how do we best go about doing so? Now, uh, ideally, I would like it if chat uh, took a screenshot and like... You know, like scribbled on the screenshot and then put that back into like chat or Discord. And I can um, then just build what you guys want to see. But this level is actually very easy, right? Um, one of the big hints here, of course, is you can see that each of these platforms has a one by one uh, kind of connecting piece, right? So we can close them off with one of these little walls. Um, and we do have infinite walls, so we can... Do a whole bunch of things. <clears throat> what happens if, if wires with different switches get into each other? Um, well, I think you'll you'll get to see that. You'll you'll see it. Wait, does the timer run when the signals run? If yes, then maybe we could do a really long signal to run the timeout. Yes, the timer does run. The signal uh, the does, timer does run normally while the signals are running, and uh, the signals are very intentionally delayed. Right now, something we don't have yet is good dreams. So currently, it's all nightmares, right? And we're just trying to keep the nightmares out. Eventually, there will be good dream creatures. And a good dream creature is a creature that will spawn just as a nightmare creature does. With one big difference, you want the good dream creature to make it into the, into the bed, right? So do you, So you kind of need to build your level in a way that the good dream creature can actually make it, while the bad dream creature can't. And that's always something kind of interesting. Siphon the mobs into the bottom middle, then do a zigzag with the remaining squares. So, siphon them into the bottom middle. So that would be something like this. All right, we're going to go ahead and now this guy is going into the bottom. And now everything is going into the bottom middle. And then we do a zigzag. So we can, um, well, probably close off here is the most effective. And then we can do something like this. Well, well, that wasn't that doesn't really work that well because this runs into this here. So, in all likelihood, we're probably better off just going like that, right? Even though we waste a few squares here, but let's see if that works out. All right. So our monsters are on their way to the bed. I mean, sixty seconds is quite long, which always makes it a bit tricky. I wonder if this will actually do it. What if I want Alex to have a nightmare though? Then you're a monster. All right, look at that. You got it. You solved it. Duplito also has a suggestion. All right, let's have a quick look at this. Sure, we can see if we maybe recreate that. Let me go ahead and place um, everything in those positions. So Ivan Yesta already managed to solve the level. 
very nice. So we're going to go ahead and put one here and put one here and put one here, here and here and here and here and all of these spots. And then finally down here and close off all of this. All right, then let's see if that works out. All right. So a little bit less of a zigzag. Oh, wait, I, I, ah, sorry. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the problem of only having an editor right now. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and recreate this because I actually forgot to place one. And that wouldn't be very fair now, would it, if I did a poor job here um, actually building it the way that it was requested. So here we go. Let's give this a go. As you can see, it's a bit of a different setup. We'll see if that does it. I mean, honestly, it's, it's not fundamentally different. Um, one of the nice things about it, it does actually use every single square, which is cool. Do you intend to have levels, uh, design levels with multiple solutions, or will there eventually be levels with only one solution? Um, so the way I'm designing levels right now is I'm designing them with one specific solution in mind, and then I give people a little bit more than they need for that, right? I try to find what I think is kind of like a very optimal, very, um, very kind of like minimal solution, and then I give people just a bit more than they need for that. And that way, hopefully, people will be able to find their own solutions. It's To me, it's very important in games that people can express their own creativity in a way. So we managed to uh, solve that level. Very good, everybody. Very good. So let's have a look at another one. And sometimes yours is not even optimal. Yeah, 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 that's fine, right? Again, to me, uh, so the way this is going to work is there will be, again, there will be good dreams and um, there will also just be kind of like a high score at the end that we will calculate for you depending on how how much time you still had before uh, or how, how long you were able to stole them for um, and how few resources you used and uh, did you manage to get any good dream creatures into, into the dream and um, so there will kind of be like a natural uh, optimization for the players that way. So yeah, anyway, which level would you guys like to see? There is one particular level that I would like to, to cover. Maybe we can do that. Um, but let's see, A5. I think we did that already. Yeah, no, did that, that one we already did. Oh, that's A5D, A5C. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys went for the... All right. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a juicy one. Um, you can see we have access to some resources. Uh, we have access to five stop signs, five switches, infinite wire, and ten wool. Does anybody have an idea? This is 100% solvable. I even have a screenshot to prove it. I don't know if I'll be able to solve it off the top of my head again, but um, I, I did prepare some screenshots just in case. Anyway, does anybody have a suggestion? Uh, keep in mind, uh, we did stop signs are uh, binary, so we can either have creatures come through or not through. Can you build vias on void? No, 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 no. You can't build anything on the empty spaces. You can only build vias on these spaces. <clears throat> So, uh, yes. This is a difficult level. I think this is maybe a little bit too difficult to tackle right now. Can the community make levels? Um, so that's going to be one of our Kickstarter kind of stretch goals, where if we get a little bit more than what we need, we will... like that. So we already have a level editor, as you can see. Um, the level editor isn't going to be the difficult part. The difficult part is going to create a Steam Workshop integration. So that's kind of uh, the part that we um, would need a little bit of funding for um, through the Kickstarter, but we would really like that. I think that would be really cool if we could have that. Anyway, um, for now, let's maybe back out of this level and we will come back to it later. Let me actually uh, find a different one really quick. No, that's not the one. Uh, is it maybe the one all the way at the top? Uh, no, that's also not the one. Is it uh, maybe this one? Sorry, again, I'm, I'm well aware that we need some sort of no, where, where did it go? I, I feel like I had a... No, that's that's another really big fancy one. Ah, there it is. Very good. Okay. So let me go ahead and showcase this level. I <laughs> I tried recording um, this video a little while ago. And we... 
we were playing this level and I just, my brain was too small to solve it. My brain was too small to figure out how this one works. So this is a really tricky level. Um, and, but I think by showing you guys how to solve this one, and I'm just going to show it with this one, right? Uh, but by showing you guys how to solve this one, oh, there it is. Well, I wanted to pull that up on the other screen, but oh well. I will be able to then also uh, kind of get you guys a bit uh, into the zone for that uh, previous level, because that one is a bit tricky. So here's our bed, right? What we need to do with our 16 moors is we need to make sure that we buy as much time as possible, right? Obviously. Now, uh, the tricky part is with only two stop signs, really all we can do is set up something uh, like, like this, right? Kind of about like so. Because what we do now is we build... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I need to... Here we go. I, this is where I had it. Right? So you can see now this is blocked off and this is blocked off. Now, I built like this specifically because we actually need a bunch of space for the wires. As you saw, when we build wires next to each other, they will automatically connect like so. The problem is you can also create nonsense like this, which often just results in the signals cancelling out. And we don't, we don't want that. So we need to make sure that we give the wires enough space um, so we can actually build. So what we will do now is we're going to put down a switch here. And this switch, we will actually not connect to this stop sign, right? We could do that, um, but that is actually a mistake here. Then, then it doesn't quite work. We're going to go ahead and build a little bit over here. And I'm just going to build a few blocks down as well. And then we are going to... Uh, take this, thank you very much, and here we go. All right, so we've got a bit of a construction here. So this is what we're going to do with the walls. Now here's the tricky part. We don't want this wire to connect directly into this, because what we need to do is we need to make sure we can connect this wire down into this one as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it a little bit like so. By doing it like so, we can actually um, use signals multiple times in very convenient ways. Which, uh, for example, what we're going to do here is we're going to put a switch here. Also, you can hear the cat screaming. And you can see now this is all connected into this whole situation. And we can actually move this back one spot. I put this a little bit too far up. Well, the cat is screaming. Apologies for that. So you can see now we have this, uh, this interesting little thing. If I now put another switch here and I connect this into this what will end up happening is when something steps on this this signal will go down here and then be duplicated into this and into this right and every time one of these switches is stepped on this setup will duplicate the signal into both stop signs but because we were very careful on how we placed our wires it will never actually result in us um, in us duplicating it too much and cancelling it out. So let me just go ahead and show you. Right, We need to make this screen and then we run this. So this steps on here. You saw it activated both of them. It activated the one up here, which now became red, and activated the one down here, which now became green. Now this monster will step on here and again, same situation. Right, The signal went in here and then got duplicated into this as well. And then we can go down here. And yet again, the signal is duplicated. And at this point, we can just close it out. Level complete. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Um, I know this is a bit of a... Complicated one. This is definitely going to be a harder level, right? Uh, so this is not going to appear right at the beginning of the game by any means. Um, but maybe now is a good time to think about uh, this level again. So does anybody have a suggestion on how we could go about solving this one? Again, it is 100% solvable. In fact, I do have the solution on my other screen. It is a bit complicated and it requires some thinking. And it does require using... A lot of the tools that we have available. 
<clears throat> so let's just kind of see. I'm going to need some time to make a drawing on it, so we might as well give the solution. No, if I give the solution, that kind of defeats the point, I think, a little bit. All right, let me see what you have here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this, this seems interesting. Somebody has given it some thought. This is not my solution, but this is what I really like. I like that there are different solutions. That is very cool. So let me try this, right? I'm going to... I am going to see if that works. Ah, no, it does not work. It does not work. But I can show you why, right? I'm going to actually set this up exactly as shown here. I think the solution is very clever and can potentially work. Just the way it is right now, it will not work. But uh, this is something which, of course, is going to be a bit difficult for you to know because you don't actually have access to the game yet and so on, right? So I'm not going to, like, I don't mean to judge you too harshly for that. So this is already good enough for our purposes of showing off why this solution doesn't work. But you can see here, I'm just going to hook this up and you can see in, in this drawing, that was kind of the idea that you step on here and the signal gets duplicated down here. The problem is that if you do that, what ends up happening is that the signal gets eaten by the stop sign and it doesn't get sent down here and it doesn't turn into that. All right. So the idea I felt was really nice, but it's not actually a possibility like that. Okay, we have uh, some discussions on this court. Oh, I, I like this. Ah, oh, very good. All right. Oh no, this is uh, <laughs> it's still with the previous level. Uh, close button, not enough. First button will consume the signal and feed into the second one. Ditto for the third and fourth. Might work if you move those buttons down and wool some parts of it. Yes, I think the solution is actually possible in some way, but this way is not it. Alright, Dr. Teaspoon has something. Alright then. Let's have a look at this. I'm gonna try and... Uh, Ah, is this just using only a, only two stop signs? And then I assume the blue ones are switches. All right, then. Let me see if I can set this up really quick. We're going to just go back into edit mode to get rid of everything. All right, then. So we just have two stop signs. This one is green. This one is red. Then we have a wall here. We have a wall here. We have a wall here. Wall here. Wall here. Wall here. And a wall here. Now... Our switches. The first switch goes here. The second one is here. The third one is here. The fourth is here. The fifth is here. I think I can place these a little bit further apart. Shouldn't hurt. And then we can connect all of this together. All right. There we go. All right. Let's see if that ends up working out. So the monsters will start walking down here. Trigger this. And now... You can see, aha, uh, which stop sign they are stepping on has changed. Ah, now they need to go back over here. Activate that. Oh, that was very close. Very, very close. And you did it. Look at that. You didn't even use the last switch. There was actually one left over. Good job, Dr. Teaspoon. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. So, yes, um, this is not even my uh, solution. So my solution, uh, I don't know if you guys want to see it. Do you guys want to see my solution? All right, I can, I can pull up my solution if you want. All right, uh, my solution actually used more resources than what Dr. Teaspoon had here. So uh, clearly I'm not the best at this game either. <laughs> but I did like mine. I think mine was kind of clever. So what we're going to do for my solution is I'm going to put some walls up here. And I'm going to put some down here. And then we will place stop signs uh, here, 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 and here. And all three of these will actually be green. Then we will put one wall, uh, like two walls here. And that is mostly to make it so that our wires work out a bit better. All right. Because now we can connect all of this over here. Let's make this a little bit prettier. And we, <clears throat> hey, uh, thank you very much, uh, Shipley07. Thanks for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. And let me then place some switches around. So we have a switch on this spot, on this spot, 
And I think that's actually it. So I used less switches than uh, Dr. Teaspoon did. And then we uh, loop this in here. We again have this one big connecting piece. And then we uh, do something very similar to what Dr. Teaspoon had as well. All right, then let's give this a go. So the reason why I do this up here is because this way, the way the monster AI works is they will now walk on the switch from the side, right? Which is nice. So you can see the signal is being sent over here and then they start walking into this direction. They come in here, they step on this switch, which activates this. Now they can come in here. This becomes red and both of these become green again. And with that, we have it solved as well. And Helios 95k, thanks for the Twitch Prime as well. And with that, we have the level complete. So anyway, that is Alex. Um, it doesn't, like, Alex isn't the final name of the game by any means. Um, and of course, there will be more stuff added to it. There's going to be more enemy types. There's going to be more things you can build, right? Uh, every, I think the, like what I have in mind right now is that in every world, you're going to have access to like a little bit of a different tools and um, you're going to have access to a few different tools. Like maybe not every level has stop signs. Oh, no, not every world has stop signs and switches, right? Or maybe the wires work different in one world or whatnot. Anyway game is still in development of course but i hope this looks interesting to you i hope this looks appealing um again we're gonna do a kickstarter for this sometime in july and i'm absolutely fucking terrified but um yeah so so that's just it uh, again the game will just be like you just buy it you just get it right it's just gonna be on sale it's just no continued support any 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 nonsense like that needed right and it'll just come with a bunch of levels and hopefully a level editor and then you can just go nuts and just make your own levels and download levels and play the campaign and and that's it so yeah, anyway that's that's pretty much it so i hope it sounds interesting i hope it looks appealing and uh, i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye <laughs>